Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John and in this video I'm going to explain how to apply conditional formatting to entire rows based on two dates. So in this first example here we'll look at conditional formatting between two dates. So here we can see that these rows are highlighted anytime this date in column C falls between the start date and the end date. And then we'll also look at an example uh, where the date is outside or before and after two dates. So here we have this gray fill color and font color applied to the rows uh, where the date is outside or before or after these two dates. Now this is a continuation from my previous video on conditional formatting entire rows based on a single cells value. So if you haven't seen this video, I'll put a link to this in the description below this video. Definitely check this one out as well. So let's jump over to the example sheet and I'll explain how this works. I will also make this file I'm using available for free download and put a link to that in the description below this video. So we are going to use a formula to apply this conditional formatting, but before I do that, I wanna explain the formulas and the functions we're going to use. We're either going to use the AND or the OR function. So in this cell right here, I'm going to type a formula. We'll first just start by typing equals. And then we're going to start with the AND function. And this will be for our conditional formatting between two dates. And we can see that AND checks whether all arguments are true and returns a true if all arguments are true. Otherwise, it'll return a false. So we'll tab into that. And the AND function uh, just has a few parameters or arguments here for logical statements. So for this first logical statement, we're going to evaluate uh, this cell right here, cell C7 that contains a date. And we want to know if that's greater than or equal to, so we'll type greater than or equal to here, add the start date, which in this case is in cell C3. So I'm going to select C3. Now I'm going to hit F4 to make that an absolute reference. And then we're going to type a comma. And our second logical statement, will again evaluate this cell. And then we will see if it's less than or equal to and that will be our end date, which is in C4. And again, I'm gonna hit F4 on the keyboard to make that an absolute reference. So that's our AND function with those two logical statements. I'll go ahead and close the parentheses and then hit enter. Since I'm using an Excel table, the formula is automatically filled down for me, and you can see we get this column full of true and false values. So the formula returns a true when both of those logical tests are true. In this case, this date is greater than or equal to our start date and less than or equal to our end date. So therefore it returns a true. In a case where either one of those is false, in this case it's outside of our start and end date, then the, uh, the formula will return a false. Now we don't actually need this column for our conditional formatting. I just wanted to show the formula there to explain it so it's easy to see what that formula does. But just so this isn't confusing, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this column because again, we do not need that. So the next step is to apply our conditional formatting. And we're first going to just select the cell in the first row of the table that contains the date. Again, this is the date that we want to evaluate against. Then we'll go to the home tab of the ribbon, conditional formatting and we're going to choose Manage Rules. And from the Manage Rules window, we'll choose New Rule and use a formula. And then here is where we are going to write that same formula. So I'm going to say equals and then and, open the parentheses. Again, we're going to select this cell right here, C7. Now you notice that it's a full absolute reference when I select it. I actually don't want that. If you saw the previous video, we want to change this to a mixed reference. I'm gonna hit F4 on the keyboard two times to do that. So we have an absolute reference for the column and a relative reference for the row. And again, I'll explain this after we apply this, uh, but we want that mixed reference there. And then we're going to say greater than or equal to, and then we'll select our start date. Now this is an absolute reference and that's good because we always want to evaluate against that uh, cell that contains the start date, C3, comma, and then our second logical statement again will be cell C7. I'm gonna hit F4 twice to again make that a mixed reference, this time less than or equal to, and cell C4. Again, that's an absolute reference, which is good. We'll close the parentheses there and then we'll go ahead and set our format. In this case, maybe we'll do a light blue fill uh, with a dark blue font, something like that. Just change it up a bit, so it'll look like that. We'll go ahead and hit OK here, and then we can hit Apply just to make sure that is working. We can see that this single cell now does have the uh, 
conditional formatting applied because it does fall between those two dates. And now the next step is to apply that to the entire table. So we can see here in the applies to section and click this little button here. And then we can go select the entire table. If you if you are using an Excel table, you can use a keyboard shortcut Control A here to select all the cells in the table. If not, you can use the mouse for that, or Control Shift End, or any of those other shortcuts. So we basically selected B7 to G1003, which is all the cells in the table here. And now we can go ahead and hit apply again. And we can see in the background here that we have some entire rows being highlighted or formatted. So I'll go ahead and click OK here to close that window. We'll hit Control Home on the keyboard to jump back to the top. And now we can see all of the rows here that be, uh, have a date in column C that falls between these two dates are being highlighted. And one thing I forgot to explain there, if we jump back to the Conditional Formatting Manager, is that this formula here, if, because we have a relative reference for the row, the formula actually changes for every single row that the conditional format or the rule is applied to. So even though this shows C7, when this uh, evaluates on row eight, this will change to row eight as well. The formula changes to row eight, does that evaluation and returns that true or false back to the rule to then show the rule, apply the rule or not and apply that conditional format. And I explained that concept in more detail in my previous video on conditional formatting. So again, go check that out if you have any questions on that. So now let's take a look at how to do the opposite, which is to apply the conditional formatting outside of these two dates. So either before the start date or after the end date. And for this, we're going to use the or function. So again, I'll type it here just so we can see how it works. We'll type equals, and then we're going to use the or function and or checks whether any of the arguments are true and returns a true or a false, or it returns a false only if all arguments are false. So we're going to go ahead and tab into that. And again, we have uh, the same arguments here for logical statements, and they'll be similar to the previous example. Uh, we'll go ahead and select our date. Uh, in this case, though, we want to see, see if the date is less than or equal to uh, the start date. So we'll select C3. F4 to anchor that, make an absolute reference, comma, second logical statement, again, C7, and then we want to say greater than or equal to C4, F4 to anchor that, close the parentheses and hit enter, and then we'll get a column full of, again, uh, false and true values. So the way this works is that since this statement, these logical statements both return a false, in this case here, uh, this is date is not less than or equal to our start date, and it's not greater than or equal to our end date, uh, therefore it's going to return two falses, then our formula returns a false. Now the formula will return a true when any of the logical tests are true. So in this example, this first logical statement will return a true because this date is great, or I'm sorry, less than or equal to our start date. And you can actually see that if you select the text for the argument, you can also click this hyperlink here, or just select all the text, then press F9 on the keyboard. That will evaluate the statement and return the result. So we can see this is a true. You can also do that with the second logical test. Again, hit F9 on the keyboard, and we'll see that that returns a false because this date here is not greater than or equal to this date. But that's fine because the OR function will return a true if any of the logical tests within it return a true. And you just want to make sure you hit escape here. If you do use F9 to evaluate those, go ahead and hit escape so your changes aren't saved. We'll hit F2 again. We can see our original formulas there. And then I'll just hit escape to jump back. So let's go ahead and modify our conditional formatting for that logic. Again, I'm going to just delete this column because we do not need it. That's just to show the formula. Uh, we'll go ahead and go back to the conditional formatting manager. And here we can select this rule, click edit rule. And now we can just modify the formula. Of course, you could write this again, create a new rule. But here we're just going to use the or function. And we're just going to change uh, the signs here. That'll be less than. Uh, this one will be uh, greater than. Again, you'll want to make sure if you're writing this from scratch that you do have these mixed references with the column letter and absolute reference and the row number relative uh, for the cell that's inside the data table. These will be absolute references. Let's just leave the format as is for now. Go ahead and hit OK and hit Apply. And now you can see that the opposite uh, rows have been highlighted.
then we'll hit OK to close this. And again, the nice thing about the conditional formatting is that this will change, the formatting will change as our start and end dates change. So for example, here, if we wanted to say instead of 2018, maybe this is 2016, hit Enter, we can now see that all the rows that contain a year in 2016 are excluded from this. And we're only highlighting rows before or after those end dates. And I also wanted to mention that this technique works with numbers, not just dates. Uh, dates are actually numbers formatted as dates in Excel. So here's an example with uh, the conditional formatting between two numbers, 1000 and 1500. And again, the nice part here is you can just quickly change one of these numbers and the conditional formatting will automatically be updated and applied to the table and applied to those entire rows. So I hope you found that helpful. If you'd like to learn more about conditional formatting, we have an entire section of video lessons dedicated to conditional formatting in our Elevate Excel training program. If you have any questions or suggestions about this video, please leave a comment below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.